Welcome back to the original Projects Minecraft Let's Play series. Um, I had some troubles with recording and everything. Just being that my computer filled up with space, I found some more room on it. And I'm going to actually begin recording. As I said in the beginning of the series, I was going to make it so that you guys can see everything I have done. But what I'm going to do now is just resume where I left off. And I've actually built quite a bit on this map. And as you see, still in survival mode right there. <laughs> Haven't cheated at all. And I actually got a couple of texture packs. So I've got the normal one. I have the plastic. And I also have natural. But I'm actually going to keep it in the original Minecraft. Because I feel like that is the best one. So I'm going to load it up. And you guys are going to be pretty surprised as to how much I built, hopefully. If you're not really surprised, then that's alright. I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool how much I could be productive in a couple of months. This is one of my. This is actually my best map I've ever had on here. I'm gonna say I've got like 12 buildings, and I'll show you around all of them. Some of them aren't completely furnished on the inside, but they look pretty good. This is my big storeroom. Just about every one of these crates has something in it. Let's see if I think. Yeah, they all basically have something besides that one. Uh, I got my farm actually inside upstairs here. So, we're just going to go up. This is my big house that I built. And this is really not too much. I've got my nether portal inside of here, as you can see. I have got my room. Walking through that little hidden painting, so I think that's like the coolest thing you can do. Got my dog. It's kind of unnamed. I've got like seven dogs. I don't name any of them. My ender chest. Got nothing in it. But I don't really need it actually. And I've got all my cows in here. Or cow farm. So right here, um, I beat the inner dragon on October second. And here's spiders. No, they're probably underground. This is my other dog, one of them. And inside of this building, I have the ender egg, the ender dragon egg, which is loaded with torches, built out of obsidian and endstone. And then up on the roof I've got some endstone going up to nether quartz. Um, not quite finished with the roof there, ran out of quartz. Oh yeah, and over here in the corner we've got my nether rack lighthouse, which is on the corner of my island area. Got my uh, sugarcane farm going on around the edges of it, and over on that little island. Over there, I've got some some of that sugar cane growing as well. So you might recognize this is where I left off in my last video. It was somewhere right around here. But I'll show you where my first house was in a minute. I've got my boxing arena inside of here. You can have two people in here. Walk through these little gates. You have whatever item that you want to do, usually I uh, play with gold or whatever, gold nuggets, you have like a hundred of them on you and you fight and whoever dies wins, loses their gold nuggets and that's lit up by the gold glowstone as you see and then over here, sorry I'm going kind of everywhere uh, this is my room where I have all my furnaces, the inside is completely covered in furnaces um, I think I had something in these Oh, well, I'll just put my uh, iron ore that I have on me in there. And some gold. Yep. Got some gold ingots right there. That's basically it inside of here. I don't really have much else in this building. This one here is my police department. So I don't have any desks or anything in here, but what I do think is cool is I have an operating jail cell. You go inside of here, and usually I put uh, mobs in there or something, and then you close the door and there's no way out. You can't get out unless you break the iron things. Over here, we have staircase to the end portal, which I'll show you in a later video because it's a long way down. It's almost on bedrock level. And what you're hearing for the monsters is up in the ceiling, I have to light like, all these buildings. So we got that. Over here we have the bank. You have to 
do that pattern in order to get into this vault that I have. I've got all my diamonds in here. Put these ones in. Put my gold in here. As you see, I got quite a bit of gold. Get that much. Then block. Got my emeralds, and I've got one of basically every kind of plant on the map because if something goes terribly wrong and I lose all my stuff, I want to have a way to repopulate it. So we got that. Now, showed you all the buildings on this level. Up here, this is my brewing room, and I actually built like this. I tried to build one of those water glasses and failed. But on the inside of this one, it's kind of checker checkerboarded, and I like that look on it for some reason. And here I got my brewing stand, the only one on the map. Got all my water bottles. And that one's where I would have finished potions, but I don't really use potions a lot. So we got that. Now uh, we'll go up this hill. I have to fix those stairs, but right here we got the Reach for the Sky Tower. This one has yet to be furnished because it's going to take a lot of time. It is. I can't remember how many floors it is. I should be counting these as I go up, but I think it's uh, 10. We go up to the roof, and there's a pretty nice view up there in my whole entire world. All well, this little town that I have here. Um, I'm just going to show you what I've built so far. I'm not going to actually take you for a tour of the map yet. So I've got all my things down there. You can see what I've already showed you on this road here. And then I'll get to the rest of it. I have a crafting table up here for some reason. Close that up. And then we'll go down the whole way. Sorry for this taking so long, but it's a pretty tall building. Now this right here is the first house that I built, that you guys have seen if you watched my first video. Still got a couple things from it, the stone weapons I had from that first thing, from the first uh, opening chest, and the spruce saplings which I never used. Down there, that's a road to a building I'll show you in a second. Just one huge building down there. It's a big arena. This is my Heels to Jesus Church. I don't know the best name for it. But, uh, you can have your little ceremony. Woo! Up here, you know. Lit by a glowstone. I like the looks of the churches in Minecraft. Just the way that the crosses can look and everything. So I did that. Oh yeah, my fire station, which I just built. This is the most recent build I've done. I haven't furnished it yet. So down here, we got some monsters. Over here, got my little game called The Climber. This is a pretty interesting game. And I do not believe I have any swords. Fight them off with that. Alright, and then over here, we got my big creeper head, which is actually a monster spawner on the inside. Over here, we have my battleship game. Now, this idea was kind of stolen from Stampy Longhead. What you do, you take sand, you place it in there like you would on a on, uh, battleship, push the lever. If it's not wool, it falls out, you get a point. Works that way on both sides. Had to get all the sticky pistons and everything. This here is an auto farmer. Yeah, this right here is full of potatoes right now. This one the grass got stomped, but I'll just show you how it works real quick. Got a bunch of pistons right there holding back the water. And I flip the lever, water comes down, and it collects all the potatoes or whatever I have in here, whether it be wheat carrots or potatoes. Oh. Hey creeper. So I got that. Um, so this one takes a little bit. You just gotta let all that stuff get to the end. Or else you have to run around up on top of the platform. I assume that's about done. The water runs for a second after anyways. No worse comes to worse. I can just hop up there. But I get quite a bit of stuff off this. Eat that egg. Alright, and there we go. So just off of that I got one, two, three, four, and almost a half stack of potatoes. So there's that. 
So should you the battleship. This is my buddy Miles' house over there. I'll get to that in a moment. Take that dumb guy. Food though. Gotta have that food. So while I'm inside, I'm probably gonna take a sleep anyways. Oh, we have monsters in the house. Well, of course we do. Not one cow always seems to glitch out. So yeah, there's monsters nearby. So what I'll do is I'll cut ahead in the video. I think. But I'm just gonna grab a sword. I have plenty of swords. Crazy amount of animals in there. Right, there we go. Brand new sword. Sharpness, knockback. It's a pretty good sword. So, time to go kill this spider. So, I've built literally nothing in the nether. But, I do have another, so there's that. Upstairs, there's nothing except for a big room. This was the old storeroom that I had. And I had way too many things to fill this up. I had the whole wall stacked with stuff. And then down here I get crafting tables every so often. One piece of glass is missing. So I got blown up or something. And then here, I got my sheep farm. Kind of running low on sheep. Got Miles' house, which he has done nothing with because he lives in a underground thing in an under, uh, undisclosed location that he won't even tell me. That's why I have that bank vault so he can't steal my things. That chest just has shears in it down there. This is my Mile High Club enchanting room building. So I've got this building. It's over a lake, which I think is pretty cool when I was building it. I wish I made it a little bit higher. But got my enchantment table, big roof, enclosed area with torches so nothing spawns and kills me when I'm trying to enchant stuff. I could actually enchant something right now, but I don't have any new diamond tools. So there's a little lake down here that just spawned naturally. It's kind of, oh, if I could hit the jump, and I hit the ground too hard. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. I had all the points to enchant something anyways. Oh, sweet, I can actually sleep. Did not see that happening. So yeah, if you guys want to name some of my dogs, you can uh, just leave some names in the comments and I'll see if I can make it happen. It'd be kind of cool to get all my viewers incorporated in the uh, videos. I don't have that many. I have zero viewers right now. So hopefully I can get that number up to uh, one. Maybe a little bit more than that. I don't really know. I have yet to capture a cat as well. I don't have one of those. Sorry for being so dumb when it comes to jumping off of things. It's very stupid of me. Get the wheat. And that. Yeah, that's full inventory right there. Alright, so I showed you everything that I have built um, on this general area. Now it's time to take you to the next area of building that I've done. Now that I just lost all my enchantment points. I'm going to head back this way. This is going to be a quite the run because that's a long road. So I didn't have any really flat area until the point where I built that big building. So I had so much cobblestone and nothing to do with it. And I wanted to try out some new redstone ideas. My original idea was to build almost like a space station out here. With some pretty cool things. You can start seeing it spawn in over there. It's, it's huge. I also had a lot of uh, jungle wood planks, which I still do. I have like half a crate full of like, unused, unprocessed jungle wood. But this one over here, this building, it doesn't even have a roof on it because it's more of like a uh, PvP shooter type game. This chest is just full of things I had when I was building the 
this area. It was a nice flat area, just full of trees. And that's pretty neat what I made right there. So the door just opened. Now over here, we've got this little shooter room. You can practice your shot. Stand on this, try to shoot the stone fence in the middle. So my original idea for this was to make like a, uh, like a bumper boat thing, which I still might end up doing after a little while. But I put up a bunch of barricades, and the goal is one starts over there, one starts over in this corner, and you just gotta kind of hop around and shoot each other. And until one of you dies, and again, the goal of this game is win other people's gold nuggets. So there's one more cool thing I want to show you guys over here. And I don't have arrows on me at the time, so it's not really going to work right now. Let's get out of here. Alright, so this contraption over here which you can start to see it is a machine gun and what, I, what you do is you get a bunch of animals to come inside of this fence here and the arrows will just shoot whatever's in there and you get whatever amount of food that you can possibly think of in there so this one so all that clicking that's the arrow shooting at every one of those at the same time you just turn it off like that. So yeah, that's pretty sweet when it's working and firing arrows. Down here, another thing that I marked out, I think it could have possibly been in my first video. I'll have to look back on that, but this little thing here, it was a uh, marker, and it turns out that there is a underground mine shaft down there. And... Um, we're just about done here, and I will show you the rest of it in the next video. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.